1973 Wicker Man is an exceptionally eerie film. It doesn't surprise me. It's got a total score of 7.5 out of 10 on IMDb. This film was directed by Robin Hardy, written by Anthony Schaffer. Stars Edward Woodward, Christopher Lee, Diane Salento. And I'll read the narrative, the plot description from IMDb because it makes it sound as thrilling as it actually is. A Puritan police sergeant arrives in a Scottish island village in search of a missing girl who the locals claim never existed. So he is in search of this missing girl, that's Sergeant Howie, played by Edward Woodward. It's a very difficult name to say, Edward Woodward. And things take a dark turn exceptionally quickly. This film wastes no time in setting up. We get enough time to learn who the characters are, what the sergeant's looking for. And then it just gets to the point. It's very... It's a film that you could do a lot of analysis with. You could do a lot of religious reading into this. Personally, for me, I love the atmosphere. I'm not the biggest fan about pagan fi of pagan films and things. It's a very popular trope for horror films. They never really bother me that much because I don't find it that interesting. But The, the Wicker Man is an absolute sensation and it does this so well. Obviously the image of the Wicker Man, the effigy, absolutely stunning. We have some beautiful shots in this film. It's very unpredictable. It's not clear what's going to be right around the corner. Certainly you do not know who to trust. You don't know who's speaking the truth, whose words can be trusted, who knows more than they're letting on. It's absolutely brilliant. We have some interesting scenes in a school. It's quite brightly coloured in certain aspects. There's a lot of yellow. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant film. I have seen The Other Wicker Man, which was released in 2005 or six, And it's good, it is good. But the original is just a cut above. It's very easy. It won two awards and was nominated for six others. It won the Best Horror Film at the Academy of Sci-Fi, Fantasy and Horror. And it also won the Best DVD Commentary at the Rondo Hatton Classic Horror Awards in 2006. Great film. Absolutely love it. If you've seen the, the remake, I would definitely recommend the original. If you've not seen either, out of the two, both are really good, but out of the two, I'd recommend the original. It just, the atmosphere is spot on. And I really, really think it's a cut above. It's absolutely worth watching definitely lives up to the hype very eerie great narrative great execution visually compelling what's not to love